Yeah, we spoke with the victim yesterday and very plainly she says if her rapist prison sentence ends, hers will begin and she's doing everything in her power to prevent that from happening. Wendy Morrison knows the term living nightmare all too well. When she was 19 years old, returning home from her waitressing job, she was followed and ran off the road by a man who would then rape and torture her at gunpoint. He's like the blue eye devil in my mind because the things that he told me and the things that he threatened me with that night. It happened nearly three decades ago. Her rapist, Floyd Jarvie, has been locked up since 1994, but that could be changing in less than a week. I was 19 years old. It felt so far away. <laughs> like it never had come almost. <laughs> and then it was here. Jarvie's parole was granted in October and he is set to be released in five days. I was disappointed, frankly. David Morse is the former Livingston County prosecutor who tried this case and says because of the predatory nature of the crime and the threats he made towards Wendy and her family, Jarvie doesn't deserve to be free. Uh, this is the only case in which uh, after, in 30 years of prosecution that I showed up for uh, a parole hearing to oppose parole. The attorney general's office also stepping in, calling Jarvie a danger to the public with plans to file an appeal and a stay to keep him behind bars past the 20th. Because Morrison says if Jarvie is freed, her bondage begins. Now, although there are many people fighting to keep Jarvie behind bars, there are many others who say he paid his debt to society, he served his time, and it's only fair that he be given a second chance. Well, today at 3 p.m. here at the Livingston County Circuit Court, we will learn if the stay request will be granted. Live in Howell, I'm Kiara Hay, 7 Action News. All right, Kiara, thank you so much for that report.